everyone, it's Mrs. Butler, Shane, and Peyton here to read you a book. Today we have Where the Wild Things Are. Sometimes I think Shane's a wild thing. You a wild thing? You a wild thing? Where the Wild Things Are, story and pictures by Maurice Sendak. The night Max wore his wolf suit and caused mischief of one kind and another, his mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. A forest grew. And grew. and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and day. And in and out of the weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. And Max said, be still, and tamed them with a magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him through the most wild thing of all and made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. I think the wild rumpus is starting in my living room. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away, across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of the wild things, of where the wild things are. But when the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up, we love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and said goodbye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. He looks so happy now. And it was still hot. I hope you enjoyed the wild things and that you're reading a lot at home and getting outside to play. I miss you and I can't wait to see you when we all get back to school.